Being a pseudo-American is strange. Being a white Latino pseudo-American is its own subset of strange. But first, what is a pseudo-American? Well, it's admittedly a term I may or may not have made up um, a few weeks ago. But essentially, it entails someone who is a US citizen legally, but isn't American? I'll use myself as, as an example. I was born here in the US in Miami, Florida. And as such, I am a US citizen, legally. Neither of my parents were born here. However, they did naturalize. And when I was nine, before I could form any sort of emotional attachment to any court country, my dad goes, we're moving back. To which I very internally respond, the fuck is back? <laughs> you see, Panama, the aforementioned back, was just this hot and humid place I vaguely associated with external family and sometimes Christmas. It didn't really exactly sink in the fact that my entire family is actually from there. The country was somewhat foreign to me, and I couldn't help but feel out of place when I was in there. And people could notice this. When I started school, I went from being the kid who spoke the best Spanish in class to now being in Panama, being the kid who spoke the best English in class with decent Spanish. And as such, I was immediately labeled and branded as El Gringo. If you don't know what that means, search it up. <laughs> and it didn't help that I looked the part. Truly, it's incredible how people could just tell that I wasn't 100% Panameño. Regardless, this gringo slash blanquito label carried with me throughout high school. I mean, for crying out loud, I went, I went through puberty with these kids in this school. I went through my emo phase, my formative years, but still, I was continuously, though casual, casually, known as a foreigner. Even if, again, my family is mostly from Panama. This tag of mine had an interesting development, uh, had an interesting effect on me during my development. And in this case, I'll look at it through the lens of dance, a sort of microcosm through which I'll look at this confused identity I have. Now, the funny part of this whole talk, the topic of this talk, is that dance to me is a very recent endeavor. It's one that started roughly after graduating high school and sort of bloomed when I came here to college. During high school, not the same. As the foreigner that I was, whenever I went to a party, I barely ever knew any of the songs that were playing. So whenever in a party I'd hear songs such as Choque or Insert X Reggaeton or Bachata song I never learned, I'd just sit in, the uh, sit in the sidelines, too shy to join. I was typically that kid who sat in the sidelines and would just eat candy. Uh, mind you, the candy was very good, so I did not regret this choice. So dance for a long time just wasn't appealing to me. And now, as time went by, I slowly became entranced with this whole line of thought of not caring if I knew the song or not, and just dance. Revolutionary, I know. And now that I was actually on the dance floor, I discovered a new barrier. Tip to the audience, in case you didn't know, there seems to be a preconceived notion that Americans can't dance or justified, you know, who knows, who knows. Um, and as such, or at least this is the notion that exists in Panama. As such, I, literally El Gringo, would get comments from my friends doubting my abilities, such as, gringo como tú no puede bailar. A gringo like you can't dance, which would later turn to, okay, maybe you can dance for a gringo. I'd also get more positive ones, such as, Martin, Eres el único gringo que conozco que sabe bailar. Martin, you're the only gringo I know that knows how to dance, which at the moment to me was the highest of praises. But still, the recognition, the distinction of me as a foreigner was always present. Reeling back to the present, or at least when I came here, came back to the US to come here to Brown, everything is sort of flipped. I'm no longer el gringo, soy Latino. And of course I know how to dance, He's Latino. Huh. You know, my dance hasn't really changed from living here and there. So why is my perception so different? Now, I'm not a fool. I know a big factor as to why 
people could tell I wasn't 100% Panameño. Again, I look the part. I am just as white in both cases, but again, the perspective on how I dance now has radically changed. All because the interpretation of my identity in these two different places has altered. Mind you, I'm basically relishing in this new perspective of me. People now think I know how to dance. That's like wild. Still, my experience with dance doesn't, entire, doesn't entirely stop being strange. Because now, whenever I go to a party, ding, 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 again, I know none of the songs. Ah, we're back at square one, aren't we? Though, at this point, I'd like to say that I'm kind of an expert at dancing the music I don't know. You know, just go along for the beat, act like you know the lyrics. There's everyone singing, you're like, yeah, I know that too. <laughs> but still, new music in a new environment that I'm going to try to assimilate into makes me question things, specifically my identity, even more specifically, my <laughs> national identity. How do I dance to this again? Should I dance merengue to a song that clearly isn't merengue? Wait, do I know how to dance merengue or am I dancing salsa or bachata or wait, what's, what's going on? What, what am I? And why does my relationship with dance constantly change depending on, on my interpretation of this question? And not just that, on other people's interpretation of this question. I'm a bad dancer because I'm American. I'm a good dancer because I'm Latino. Yet my whiteness has a role in dictating which one I am, depending on where I am. In Panama, it's a subtle indicator that I'm American. And here, I've legitimately been told that, Martin, you're not white because you're Latino. Huh. I didn't know those were mutually exclusive. These questions can be a lot. And typically, they don't have a definitive answer. I welcome you to a confusing dance experience for someone with a confusing national identity. But it wouldn't be fair if I said that's it. To be true, it's not all questions and no answers. For d dance has, in fact, provided me with something. Dancing has helped me better understand the extent of how odd my identity is. Yes, it's confusing. I'm confusing. What about it? Lather yourself in the confusion we don't need to understand it. For me, that means to, that means to embrace that I'm Blanquito, Hispano, Latino, American, and that others will interpret who I am in many different ways I can't control. And from that, they'll make assumptions about me based on that. About such a, and these assumptions can be related to the different things, such as my dance. Even if it's confusing, be it about my identity or dancing, it's an ongoing process. And if there's anything you're going to take out of this topic, I hope it's that. I'm going to keep on dancing, that's for sure. And maybe along the way, I'll figure out how it perfectly fits into my identity. Or maybe I won't. I probably won't. And that's fine. Lather yourself in the confusion. We don't need to perfectly understand it. Thank you.